All right, what's up, TinyX community? I hope you guys are having a good one. Let's get into today's video. TinyX is looking pretty good. It did bounce nicely close to my yellow support line. RSI is looking phenomenal. Even though we did cross, like I mentioned, my prediction was right. Even Well, half correct. We did cross bearish on the daily. That's on the 1334. And because we crossed bearish and we did bounce, I think, I think I'm going to be right on this prediction. At the time of recording, we are looking at five zeros and a 104. Yesterday's video from Lotus did get a little bit, it was, it was like more positive than negative, but the very few negative um, comments that I did get, I kind of like, I, I kind of do understand in a way like why why you would be a little frustrated and upset about why I said what I said um, about Lotus, about me selling my bags and, you know, so on and so forth. I still have my miners. That's the thing. I have $3,000 worth of miners just in Lotus. So I'm not completely out, but I did sell my liquid Lotus. And so I sent out a tweet saying I sold the remaining 5% from my um, initial average of like nine cents. So I did sell, right? And some people didn't like that. And the thing is, I said I was going to be honest and transparent. So whenever I say I'm getting out, I will let you guys know. As much as it hurts, as much as you get mad, it's my funds. And I do what I want to do with my own crypto funds. Okay? In no way, shape, or form did I ever sell. Uh, I'm sorry. No way, shape, or form did I say that you should sell. I'll... Every tweet that I sent out and every and throughout the whole entire video, I was literally saying that I was going to do things for me my way with my own my funds. Right. I said I was going to do things my way. You do whatever you want to. You don't have to do you don't have to sell your bags because I sold them. Definitely. I mean, if you want to continue holding, go ahead and do so. I still respect Rain Man. I still you know, I'm still here for him and everything, but the thing is, even if they do a relaunch, which very little projects manage to succeed, um, I still wish them the very best and the project the very best, but I'm, I'm just not going to take a part from it simply because there's that still that risk. Like if I do promote it and if I do say, yo, hey guys, get in, um, let's support them, you know, put your fresh new funds into this new relaunch of Eden or yeah, Eden, right? And then there's that little risk that that, and I'm not saying it will, but what if the same thing happens or another bug or something else, or there's another hiccup, guess what? Then there's going to be even more people mad at me because I promoted it. I'm not going to get paid for it. I don't get paid for any of my videos. And then they're going to be mad because I promoted it. So then here they come being mad at me. So I'm not, I'm, I'd just rather be safe about it. I'm trying to take care of your funds i'm trying to take care of your investments the best case scenario to be able to make money in this crypto market that's my job especially for the members that's my job is to make them money and right now we are up four thousand percent more actually over four thousand percent in profit since i started doing the members only pretty insane so if you i actually just alerted him of an of the new play and we're already up like 40 percent 50 percent something like that amazing we're already in profit in 24 hours if you want to join go ahead and do so the join button for youtube is there i have it on my um twitter page as well in case you're interested we're already up beautiful now we can just sell profits and let everything ride right now even though we did cross bearish tomorrow is the election i saw a video of Eric, and it's a great one. He mentioned there was, uh, the dude in the video mentioned three possible scenarios, and I definitely 100% agree with what the guy was saying. I'll shorten it here in a bit. It's on his Twitter in case you're interested, in case you want to watch the video. It's like two, three minutes long. Scenario one, Trump wins. We rally up. We will have a huge pump in market and it will benefit Tyne X. That's where that cross right here of Tyne X is going to happen. 
My thought is that I think Jake is going to trigger V1 or launch X28, Shogun, all of them, everything. And then I think Dragon X is going to trigger the Buy and Burn as well. All that together in one single go. I do think they're going to do that all in one. That's my prediction. That's if Trump wins. If Harris wins, I think the market will dump. I agree. Well, that's what the guy was saying, and I agree with him. And then there's scenario three where they both, either or side, end up not taking the, law, the L, right? And they dis dispute it. They, they, it's it's going to cause the markets to have uncertainty. And markets don't like that at all. I know that for a fact. I 100% have been through there. Markets do not like not knowing where to go the investors the funds the hedge funds the big corporations multi-billion dollar company stocks and big whales that know how to manipulate the system they don't like knowing whether they're going to buy or sell they just don't know and it's going to create big volatility so either trump wins we go up or harris we go down we'll know tomorrow it's going to be interesting in 24 hours what's going to happen it's going to be a very critical moment for crypto, of course, and that's going to trigger as well what direction TyNX is going to go. Hopefully, but but still in the long run, if if Trump wins, we're going to go up almost immediately. If Harris wins, there will be a delay, probably like an, a small little dip in the next few weeks to a few months, and it will delay the bull run by a few months. But uh, the uncertain uncertainty is what I'm really afraid of. But we'll see what happens. Overall, as long as we stay within this channel right here, we should be good. If we break through this level, be very cautious. That's 888 level. That's a very critical number. We will then be in this range between 5-1. Yes, you heard that. Oh, excuse me. You heard that right. 5-1 to 888. Eight. This little channel right here. That's only if we break through here. Don't get too scared yet. As of right now, it held its ground really good. It didn't even come close to it, but it did. It was heading there. Now, now I'm just hoping Jake plays the cards right, which I think he will. He he's genius, yo, whenever it comes to these type of outcomes. He knows how to play the system and, and know the best case scenario for us and for his high necks and for the protocols. So I think the scenario is definitely going to play out. At least I hope so. But that's my prediction, man. It's okay to be wrong. Um, but yeah, it's always good to take profit because you may never know what's going to happen. Okay. Um, but hopefully this video does good, man. If it did, if it does, if you liked what I said, if you didn't like what I said, hey, that's your opinion. Click the like button, subscribe, comment down below anything. Join the members. We're up over 4,000% right now. We're going to continue to make some money. So don't miss out any more big potentials. Okay. All right, guys, take it easy. I'm out. Peace.